she's, she's finally, finally ours. Or is she? Hmm, that's a good question. Well, I'm in love and now I'm ruined. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. I'd say Christmas came early here at Uchermer. <laughs> Let's go decorate that tree. If I don't seem completely just off the charts thrilled, it's because I've only had about four hours of sleep in two days. Keep calm and no. have a cupcake. Oh. <laughs> 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 Sad to say goodbye to everybody, but we're very well practiced at this, and we're gonna see him on the, the weekly videos. Uh, ready as I'm ever gonna be. Jane, yes. you are Sherpa yes. and our home base, yep. <laughs> and our everything else. Carved out the special spot here at PDX. Last second uh, tasks before we hop on that British Airways flight to London. We've got to cancel our AT&T cellular account. That puts us on the Wi-Fi network and that opens us up to vulnerabilities. It's a good time to turn on our VPN. We use Surfshark VPN. It provides a whole host of protections from malware to folks who maybe have infiltrated the network, trying to steal our data. Surfshark keeps us safe. Also, when we travel to foreign countries, sometimes we can bounce off servers located elsewhere, and that unlocks the old Netflix, unlocks the old movie streaming that sometimes has issues in certain countries. Did you know you might be able to find a better deal on hotels, airfare, car rentals if you log in from another country? What's that all about? With Surfshark, you can do that. Let's just say that who you know matters. The O'Kellys will hook you up. Surfshark is running a special holiday deal. You can get up to six months for free. Plus there's a 30 day money back guarantee. All you have to do is enter O'Kelly's by following the link below. Thanks Surfshark for sponsoring this week's video. Okay, Megan, what if I told you back in art class that there's this, gonna be this thing, this thing called the internet where everything's all connected all the time and we're gonna have our own TV show. <laughs> And we're just going to travel the world by plane, by sailboat, making videos. And we make friends. friends. <laughs> and you're like, that's our world that we live in. I don't, think, grow up. I don't think Nick and Megan in 1989 would have believed you. <laughs> I went to, uh, when I was in my early 20s, my mom and I went to a tarot card reader. And she read my cards and she's like, oh, wow. You're gonna be wildly successful in your 40s. <laughs> I was like, my 40s? I got only 20. <laughs> I think maybe the wildly part meant like I'm gonna be out in the wild. You are definitely out in the wild. Oh, I'm out in the wild. for it. It's like an obstacle course. Will our baggage be there? 50-50 shot. Yeah. It's a good one. Greased it. Uh, I hope so. Wow, we just need one more bag? That was easy. Our bags were some of the first to come off. Now we just gotta go get the rental car. Charming little town. 
We are so tired, but we are so hungry. And we're gonna go have some dinner. What time is it? 3.27, which is really 6.27 Portland time. So our, our jet is definitely lagged. I feel like, yeah, it's, I think we should just get up. You wanna do it? I wanna do it, let's do it. I want some coffee and a shower. We're in this hotel room for 10 minutes and stuff just exploded. Whew. Why are you making this so complicated? Why are you packing and unpacking? There's a very simple answer. Batteries. Oh. All of these lithium ion batteries that go in the drones, the gimbals, the cameras, you can't put them into checked luggage. But then stuff gets just spread all over the place. So now all the camera equipment's going back with the camera equipment, all the drones are going with the drones, and uh, all the clothing's going back with the clothing. Reunited and it feels so good. Reunited like they understood. Normal people are sleeping at 3.30 in the morning. Missy. Okay. Au revoir. Au revoir. Oh, it's the glamorous life. That's for sure. All we want is a boulangerie. How are you feeling? Good. Pumped. And these French drivers? What are you guys all rally car drivers? I mean, we're, we're doing a pretty good speed. 130 kilometers is what? 80 miles an hour. And people are flying past mm -hmm. us. It's like the Audubon over yeah, there. Yeah, it is. But, but, don't seem to be reckless. No. Seems to be courteous, a lot of turn signals, not hanging out in the left lane. I'm gonna give you French drivers, here's the scale. Zero would be like Florida drivers. Even Florida people, you, oh, you know. Scary. You know. Scary. And who would be the best drivers we've ever come across ever? New Zealand and Australia drivers are pretty darn good. So. If that's the scale, I give you French drivers like a 8.5. 8.5. It's pretty good. Oh, that thing is a trip. What is that? I kind of like it. It's like a big fish. Uh, it's like a spaceship. Yeah. It's like at a Battlestar Galactica or something. <laughs> it's kind of deja vu all over again. Because <laughs> Mathieu and Celine are taking us to see the 55. Not just to see it, but to move on to it. Yeah. This, my friends, is happening. It is an experiment, and it's going to be a true adventure to see what happens. Nobody knows. Yeah, I think we're all, I think we're all on the same page with this. It's, it's uncharted waters, new territory for all of us. All we can do is give it a shot, learn along the way. Give it a moonshot. <laughs> oh. I'd say Christmas came early here at Utremer. <laughs> Let's go decorate that tree. <laughs> <laughs> We've arrived. We're at Utremer. Oh my God, this is the beginning of something huge. I'm really, really excited. A tad nervous. If I don't seem completely just off the charts thrilled, it's because I've only had about four hours of sleep in two days. We've been road warriors. Ready? Hey, hello! Hey. Hello, my friend. Please, bring it in. How are you? Your plan, it all came true! <laughs> Finally! <laughs> Wait, does this mean the script has been written a little bit? Uh, the first Almost. <laughs> Don't talk about this <laughs> Okay, it's a rough outline. That's we got a rough outline at this point. And we know there's a cast of characters. Oh, yeah.
unbelievable. Oh my God. I wish you were all here in person to see this beautiful boat. Uh, she is spectacular. And uh, yeah, she just is bigger and brighter than I remember and cozier and warm and she just definitely feels like home. So now we are gonna bring our stuff on board and unpack, finally unpack. Wow, it's been a long journey, but the weather is it's nice. There's a nice breeze, blue sky, it's not that cold, and there's still plenty of daylight to get settled in. Just have a couple more bags to grab. And then we can start unpacking. Wow. <laughs> Found a home for my valleys. It's a good spot for all my clothes. And then we can just hide it away. So, what did, you, what did you just say? I said, well, I'm in love, and now I'm ruined. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. What are we going to do? I don't know. Um, we're in big trouble, but I love this boat, and just giving her a nice little clean, making her our own space, and she's really perfect. She's really nice. She's huge. She is really well made and I think I'm gonna be very happy here. <laughs> I still can't believe it, but it's, it's becoming more and more real. We're, We're finally, finally home. home. Or are we? <laughs> Twinning. <laughs> Can we talk about how good it feels to unpack our stuff? <laughs> right? <laughs> it's been months and months and months of pulling stuff out of the box, for how long, we don't know. <laughs> and the question is, did Uchimer give us this boat? We've addressed this question before, but let's just say it again. Is this <laughs> our boat? No, no. <laughs> no, this is Uchimer's boat, and they've given us the opportunity to sail her for a season. So I, I would pinch you to see if we're dreaming, <laughs> but it's very hard to pinch you with all of this, this heavy weather stuff on. I and hope it breaks in a little bit. I know, it's kind of crinkly crackly. We have got to get this stuff off. off. of us. Yes. <laughs> and there's only one way we can do that. We need to get down to warmer climates. Yes. Let's head for the tropics. Let's do it now. We have got uh, things in fast forward motion here in La Grande Mott. Uh, we, along with Outremer, are preparing this boat to cross the Atlantic really, really soon. Yeah, in the next few weeks. And it's a maiden voyage for her and for us. Yes, it's Isn't that be exciting? a big deal. <laughs> uh, this is part of a much more audacious goal. So audacious that we don't quite want to talk about it quite yet. Some of these plans are, they're really, really big. Uh, audacious goals. But you know what? That's the nature of adventure. Yes, and it's really a hallmark of adventure to not know what's gonna happen next, which yeah. we do not. We do not. If we knew what was gonna happen, would it really be an adventure? There are gonna be plenty of details announced in the next couple of weeks. Yes, and we're gonna give you a full boat tour. We're gonna give you the entire layout, the systems aboard, the sails aboard. There's so much to talk about yes. right now though. We're putting things away to go sailing in a couple of hours. So lots of sailing in the next couple of videos as well. That's right. If you want more up-to-date real-time information, join our Instagrams that's on the YouTube channel in the About section, and you will get more sailing in real time. Yes, and speaking of real-time updates, that's one of the benefits of being a patron. So <laughs> join up if you'd like to see a little more real-time action. And by the way, Thank you so much to our patrons. Yes, we could not do this without you. And we love sharing this step-by-step -step with all of you. So thank you for sharing your precious time. We love your comments, your likes, all of it. So thank you. Take care, everybody. See you next week. All right, bye-bye. Let's go sailing. Yeah.